I'm Chad Schlett, SB Tools, and this is our exciting new hydraulic bushing tool. It's a, a mobile hydraulic uh, press that you're able to bring to the vehicle. Um, instead of going to the, the standard press over in the corner, you can now have the strength of hydraulics at the car. It has a tilting head, so you can get to about just any angle there is. Um, this also rotates on the press frame side, so you're able to um, get to about any bushing or ball joint on a vehicle. Um, in addition to that, we have a, a side stand here where there's uh, some, some areas where you can put uh, normally used uh, pusher cups and receiver cups. And uh, this kit comes with 44 different pushing cups and receivers, so you're able to have hundreds of different size combinations depending on the, the vehicle's uh, needs. Now this RAM uh, assembly, this hydraulic assembly, comes two different ways. Uh, we have it configured here with the, uh, the pneumatic uh, hydraulic pump. This allows you to uh, use air power to achieve the, uh, the hydraulic pressures. So you're able to you know, use your standard uh, foot pump that we supply also, and it, and it comes back like that. But additionally, um, the, the standard model comes with a hand pump. Now what's nice about the hand pump is that you don't need any air pressure with that. You can go out to outside of the garage and, and work on um, more remote areas with that. So depending on your needs, you can go air powered or you can go hand powered. We're gonna show how easy it is to remove a bushing from a control arm using the pulling method of the hydraulic uh, cylinder. So pretty much all you have to do is uh, grab your removing cup. This is the receiver cup. You're gonna add the control arm in the middle here, and then you have your pushing cup, which is quite a bit smaller than the receiving cup. And then you just thread on your nut. Retaining nut on the back holds the whole thing together. Cinch down all the slack. And then with the hydraulic pressure, you're able to just move it right out. And here's how easy it is to put it back in. Just go until it gets flush, a little more, and you're done. So that's how easy it is to remove and reinstall a, a bushing and a control arm. So now we're going to show how easy it is to remove a ball joint from the end of a control arm using the press side of the frame. Put that in there, cinch down the, uh, the slack in this, get everything kind of lined up nice. And once again, use your foot and once again, with the power of hydraulics, you're able to pull a bushing out very quickly on the car, not at a, a standard hydraulic press. With this mobile hydraulic press, you're able to service vehicle components on the car. Instead of removing the control arm and going to a conventional press, you can remove fewer components of the vehicle and do it right there on the car, saving time and money for the technician. In addition to a hydraulic press, we have a uh, more of an entry level product for uh, the individual technician to use on his own. Uh, this is a manual style press that uses a threaded rod versus a hydraulic uh, cylinder. So you're able to pretty much perform the same thing as the pulling side of the press. You can now do it with uh, conventional tools uh, for a lot less cost than the hydraulic system. So you pretty much just have to put on these nuts on either end here, cinch it up, Get all the slack out of it. And with conventional tools, you can press it off right on the vehicle. Like that. The 11100 features Acme threaded rods, ranging from 10, 12, 14, and 16 millimeter, allowing the technician a wide range of through-hole bushing applications. Additionally, the cup sizes ranges from 44 to 90 millimeters. So a 90 millimeter bushing is quite large. This, this kit allows the technician to remove it on the vehicle using conventional tools.